uh, to this first piece here. You are going to be a fantastic audience. I can't wait for the next ones. Um, uh, thank you so much for joining us for our fall uh, concert. Uh, all of our concerts here are always really exciting, but the one opening the year for, for myself and the students is always the most exciting because we, we get to be back uh, doing what we do. Uh, and we love what we do. Um, the, the first piece you heard was titled Variance on a Shape Note Tune. Uh, the, the melody the clarinets played at the beginning and then it was passed around the band, comes from very, very old America, uh, kind of think 1700s or so. Um, and there was a trend at that time to uh, teach people singing with shaped notes. So like just for your average person who might not be musically trained, they might make like do, the home note, they might make that a triangle, and then maybe their highest note, they might make a square. And that was a trend at the time just to help people um, in public be able to feel more comfortable with singing without getting bogged down with, with reading the different music. So kind of interesting to hear that, that song style transformed uh, into a, a, a different piece 300 years later. Uh, we're going to proceed with our second piece of the program titled Cradle Song. Um, this has been a uh, new piece for a lot of them in the sense that it requires a lot of patience and there's a lot of open space. Um, it's also very exciting, uh, those of you who are, are devoted fans, returning uh, audience members, you may remember uh, that V3, our, our top band here, actually performed this last year as part of their Midwest concert. Um, so I thought this year, with, with of course none of those members in this band, I thought it'd be really fun to take that piece um, that is written for, for a grade level appropriate to V1 and then put it in the hands of, uh, of them. Um, the other cool thing about Cradle Song is we actually got to do a Q&A with the composer um, a few days ago. Time flies, but it was, it was this week. Um, and uh, it was really nice when, we, when V3 played at Midwest in Chicago last year, we got to meet the composer. Um, she's Australian, she brought us uh, candy that we'd never had before that was very good. Um, and when she did a Q&A over Google Meet with the band uh, earlier this week, it was, uh, I think, about 5 a.m. her time. Uh, but the students just asked her questions about uh, the piece, being a composer, um, and so it was just really nice to, uh, to connect them to that. Um, and uh, we hope you enjoy our next uh, piece, Cradle Song by Claire Petherick. Um, 
This was uh, just kind of a happy accident that formed when we were programming all three bands um, that each band happened to be playing a march. So this is our contribution to that theme. Uh, the march is titled Coast Guards, um, uh, written by Carl L. King, a famous uh, uh, march composer out of Ohio. Um, the, the march for concert band uh, is really important for our development. The concert band was kind of born out of marches. It was like a circus uh, ensemble, and then Sousa popularized it touring the country with more marches, um, and now we play different concert repertoire like you heard, but the band really, first and foremost, was a march um, instrument, a military-associated ensemble for, for getting people moving and getting people excited. Um, the other great thing marches uh, allow every band at every level to do is really focus on matching, matching style, matching dynamics, matching tempo, and you'll hear the students do a lot of that tonight where we will do sudden dynamic changes, um, and so we just, it's really good um, kind of weightlifting for us as a band and really good for the students' development, um, and we hope you enjoy our final piece, uh, Coast Guards by Carl L. King. <laughs> So if we could give her a big welcome. I don't know where she is, but she is here tonight. Right this has been, thank you so much for the house lights. Uh, this has been concert season, uh, and she's been at every single one of them, which is amazing. 
Um, also, just funny, you know, coincidence, we both actually started, well, I started, excuse me, at LVA when she was here as an assistant principal. Um, she then, about a month later, was promoted to principal at KO. There was a global pandemic, and then we're back uh, together eight years later. So just really great to have her, and, and again, uh, really great that she's here tonight supporting the students. Um, the final, final thing we will do for this part of the portion of the program, if I could invite a band booster up to uh, advertise the 50-50 raffle, I think someone should be heading this way to do that. This is coming. Oh, coming from the other side. Thank you so much. Let's welcome uh, Ms. Shanna Valenti, our band booster president. Thank you. 